Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix PS4 error code SU307460. So, the first thing we need do is try deleted the failed update by go to notifications. Here you will see the update, just go to the failed update then press option button on your controller. Next, select delete. Restart your console and try update again. If you still cannot update the system software for PS4, then try update PS4 system software on safe mode. To do this, if you have any disk in your PS4 Blu-ray drive, remove it first. Next, press and hold the power button present on the front panel of the PS4 to turn it off. The indicator will blink a few times. After the PS4 turns off completely, unplug the power cable from the power source and disconnect any peripheral attached to your console, such as a controller, headset, hard drive, etc. Wait for about 5 to 10 minutes. After that, replug the power cable. Press the power button and keep holding it until you hear two beeps. The first beep will usually be heard when you press it initially and the second beep when you keep pressing it, for around 7 seconds. Now connect the PS4 controller with a USB cable. Now press the PlayStation button present on the controller. The PlayStation will now be in the safe mode. Select the option Update System Software and try to update it again via Internet. Once the process is finished, Restart your PlayStation and check if the issue is resolved. If it doesn't work, do it via a USB storage device. For more information on how to manually update the PS4 system software using a USB drive, please visit this official Play Stay On page. That illustrates this process in detail. Method 2. Rebuild PS4 Database One more time, go to the Safe Mode page. In the Safe Mode page select the option Rebuild Database. At that time, it will warn you that it may take hours. Most of the time, this solution resolves the problem. Method 3. Check PS4 Hard Drive Health and Factory Reset. If you don't know how to check the hard drive health, please refer to the video linked in the description. After the hard drive health check is complete, 
Factory reset your PS4. Just go to Settings. Go to Initialization option at the bottom. Choose Initialize PS4. Choose Full option. Select Initialize. Confirm with the Yes option. Wait for some time to finish the process. Finally, if the problem persists and you are also sure your hardware is okay, then this is probably a software bug coming from Sony. What you can do now is wait for them to update a patch for this problem. That's it guys. Hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.